While politicians debate, local business owners are on the front lines trying to save their livelihoods and hoping customers come back. We rounded up a panel of owners who are very concerned about the business of getting back into business. They tell our Paula Tutman about their fears, frustrations, and how they might affect all of us. Whether you're making chocolates, growing flowers, or selling retail, the question today is when can I reopen my business? Today, a group Zoom video call with local small business owners devastated by the closures forced by COVID-19. A business expert from Oakland University, a longtime business consultant, and six local business owners. It's a new balance between food safety and this extra level of safety. We don't necessarily know what that is. Alexandra Clark, owner of Bon 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 Candies in Hamtramck, is deeply concerned. Short of having adequate virus testing, antibody testing, a cure and or a vaccine, many business owners feel doomed if they don't reopen and potentially doomed if they do. I think it's best to just wait, uh, even though I'd love to be able to open up. Um, but I think that it would be more damaging, of course, to... Um, uh, come back too soon. Julie Cotton owns Salon Enigma in Farmington Hills. She's willing to put safety precautions in place for her nail and hair clients, but will her customers follow them? Women get their hair done no matter what. And are they going to lie to us? I don't know. Are they not going to tell the truth and still come because they need their roots done? Janelle Townsend, business and marketing professor from Oakland University, has a unique historical perspective. The closest thing was the 1918 uh, Spanish flu and the first wave was kind of what we're going through right now but that the second wave was actually much steeper and I think that's what everyone's trying to head off is that we have that second wave that is even worse than this wave. Orlando Robinson of D&D &D Innovations concurs. But the reality is we are not ready to open up um, open our country back up. Barbara Whitaker, business consultant for T3 Innovation Strategist, says we need guidance from our government that could take months to develop. Well, there's going to have to be specific guidelines that apply to various industries and various businesses that have to be developed and have to be put in place in order to open safely. The food industry is one way that you have to look at it. We've talked to a nursery and he's got to look at the retail side of things and how that's going to work. But then there's manufacturing and manufacturing standards are gonna be somewhat different. Business owners say without that guidance, they will figure it out. They have to. I think moving forward, we do need to move cautiously. And quite frankly, it's just going to be a new normal for us. Whether that means gloves and masks, and I mean, we're having sneeze guards designed for all of our stores. Basically, we're gonna to try to bring the garden to them if they're not feeling comfortable coming to our stores. You know, with the exception of Bon Bon Bon, which is doing online sales, those other businesses are shut down. This is devastating. So, of course, if they have the opportunity to reopen, they're going to do it. But they do believe it has to be a slow roll. They absolutely need that governance from the government. And they also need customers to understand that even the commerce exchange process is just going to be different. But they said that they learned a lot from that joint conversation, uh, and it gave them a lot to think about, Karen. Much to think about. All right. Thank you, Paula. Many of you.